this is Divya from Gurukulam, the online shloka school that caters to kids across the world. The main aim of the school is to keep traditional roots in place, thereby tapping an area left untapped shloka education. Gurukulam today is in collaboration with Spin Ayan India and is excited and happy to extend shloka education for the benefit of our future, our kids and our younger generation. Today, I am going to be talking to you about a lesser known incarnation of Lord Vishnu. He is called Lord Hayagriva. During this session, I am going to be telling you who Lord Hayagriva is, a little description of the God, a shloka, the meaning and the benefits of chanting this particular mantra. So who is this Lord Hayagriva? Like I told you, Lord Hayagriva is a lesser known incarnation of Lord Vishnu with a horse face. Lord Hayagriva is the guru of Goddess Saraswati. He is the giver of knowledge, education or wisdom. Lord Hayagriva's wife is Goddess Lakshmi because every form of Lord Vishnu's wife is Goddess Lakshmi. So that's a little bit of a description about who Lord Hayagriva is. My shloka for today is a very beautiful shloka which really helps in building memory power and concentration among children. The shloka goes like this. Gyananandamayam devam nirmala spatika krudhim Adaram Sarva Vidyanam Hayagrivam Upasmahe. I'll repeat. Gyananandamayam Devam Nirmala Spatika Krudhim Adaram Sarva Vidyanam Hayagrivam Upasmahe. So what does that mean? We worship Lord Hayagriva who is the very embodiment of Jnana also called knowledge and Ananda also bliss whose figure is spotless and lustrous like the crystal and who is the sole source and storehouse of all fields of knowledge. So how does one benefit by chanting this mantra? Now we all know that Lord Hayagriva is the giver of knowledge, education or wisdom. So how does it basically help kids? Regular chanting of this mantra helps children in making progress in education. When I say education, education or knowledge does not necessarily limit to school, college or university. It could be anything that provides life skills. It could be in the area of dance, it could be in the area of music, it could be in the area of art or even shlokas. It could be sports or anything that helps you make a living. When we call him the Lord behind knowledge, he also helps in making good mathematicians, scientists, engineers, doctors or any professionals. So he's basically the giver of knowledge. During Navratri, we all celebrate Saraswati Puja because God is Saraswati is the giver of knowledge again. But little did we all know that God is Saraswati acquired all her knowledge from Lord Hayagriva and that is how she passes it down to each one of us. So that's how Lord Hayagriva helps in the case of children. Regular chanting of this mantra also helps adults by giving us clarity in thought. We are all people who can feel anxious who can get into deep depression or even stress 
or any kind of mental trouble where thinking comes to an absolute halt or we can go in the negative direction so regular chanting of this mantra gives clarity in thought word and action try chanting this mantra i'm sure it will help each one of us i'm going to be back soon with yet another shloka and its benefits till such time it's divya signing off namaste